everybody! Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. It's an awesome day. <laughs> so we have both had a touch of the flu, which is kind of why we look like this. We are trying to get over it, drinking Gatorade and water. So for our video today, I decided we have been together 10 years. 10 years. Yep. Amazing. And so it's the end of the year. I got through that seven year itch. Yep. So I have written down some questions in my little book here that I would like to ask you. Me? Yeah. Right. To answer. I'm going to put you on the spot. Because it's the end of the year? Yeah, I just want to know. It's the end of the year. We're closing out 2017. Year. All right. Ten years together. I kind of want to know how you feel about Questions something. you should ask your mate after ten years of marriage? Yeah. Ready? All right. Is that what this is? Yeah. Can okay. I sneak a peek? No. All right. I'll be good. Okay. So the first one. <laughs> I got to be good. I don't feel good. No. I know. <laughs> I have to write it down because my brain won't memorize anything right now. <laughs> okay, number one. When did you know I loved you? Like recently, continuing, or the first time? No, the first time. Hmm. When we first met, when did you believe that I loved you? Do you want you? serious answers or like when I knew that you <laughs> dug me? When I, just like whatever comes to mind? Yeah, whatever comes to mind. Okay. Your own natural answer. All right. You were having some kind of party at your house with a bunch of women, mm -hmm. either craft, card making, basket weaving, long a <laughs> burger, something where all you girls get together. I'm okay. going to say paper crafts. That sounds reasonable. Is that good? <laughs> yes. Okay. And I was stalking you with my dog, and we were walking by your house. Okay. And a girl came out and went to her vehicle to get something out of it. Okay. And I said, hey, would you mind when you go back in there, tell her, tell you, tell Lisa that Bill was here. Mm -hmm. And she said, okay. She had a big smile. She's a friendly person. I don't know who it was. Mm -hmm. But she went in. I left walking down the street. I was probably four or five houses down. Yeah. And next thing I know, you came running down the street screaming, Bill, Bill, <laughs> come back, Bill. I knew I had you. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, I really liked you then. All right. Have a nap. Good God. Oh, this is going to be a good night. Okay. Let's speed this up. You're about what to is edit. your happiest day with me? Huh. Happiest day with me. Every day? Well, you made me happiest because it wasn't shortly we were dating or married or sometime. Mm -hmm. And even though I did like the Mustang GT you drove, mm -hmm. I did picture you in a Mercedes. I said you'd look good in a Mercedes. And then shortly after that, we had saved up enough money. Yeah. And I told you one day mm -hmm. that you could go pick out a Mercedes mm -hmm. and write a check for the full amount for it. I remember that. And your face and you doing that and you shaking writing that check <laughs> for that car, which you still own. It's the one you've kept through all your cars. Yep, I love it. That was a very happy day for me with you. That was a good That's one. That's it. Yeah. Okay, next question. What is your worst day with me? Oh, I know that. We're just going to make it short and sweet. And for all you watching, you're just going to have to look this up because I'm not going to get into it. The okay. day the day you let the ATF agents in our home. <laughs> the end. Move on. Look it up. If they want to know what ATF agents is, oh. they have to look it up. Got it. Okay. That was a bad day. Move on. Okay, next. Okay. What do I do that keeps you loving me? Well, you need to know that I love you. Right. And even though I do need to feel love, um, it's more that I know you make me feel like, how do I say this, you respect me every day. Oh. You expect my thoughts, my opinions, my wishes. Mm -hmm. You let me make my own mistakes. You don't bother, complain, what I do for work, 
how I invest, whatever I do, you kind of respect me as a person and you respect my wishes. Fair enough. That's a good That's answer. Yeah. Okay, next question. We're 13 years apart. How do we make that work? You are 13, actually 13 and a half years older than me. How do we make that work? That's easy. I needed someone younger than me so they could keep up with me. <laughs> Simple fact. <coughs> okay. Women my age get tired. I, I'm sorry to say. It's normal, but I'm a little manic. And I need someone as immature as I am. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Next question. This is the last question, and it's a two-parter. It's a twofer. 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 Okay. okay. Do you have any funny stories about me when you knew I was the one? And when did you know my parents were cool with us being together? Um... Cool, funny story that I knew you were the one. Yeah. Besides you running down the street. Right. Besides that. Okay. Well, Later. I, all right. I got a good one. Okay. When I knew you were the one, the one, you called me up and you were going to be mad at me <laughs> if I didn't record the Victoria's Secret catalog show. <laughs> oh, yes. What girl do you not want to be with? That is going to be mad at you, not catch you watching, but want you to record it for us to watch. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, second part for the twofer. When did you know my parents were cool with us together? So, a couple things. Your parents are pretty cool. Yeah. The first one, I played a little trick on them to see if they were okay with me asking you to marry me. Okay. And I got you two rings, mm -hmm. two wedding rings, mm -hmm. and I invited them over, okay. and unbeknownst to you, I don't know where you were, but I had a meeting with them, mm -hmm. and I sh asked them which ring I should give you. Ha ha. So I made them choose one, not tell me you're not marrying my daughter. And I ended up with both of them. So, yes. <laughs> so, so, one I asked you to marry me with, and then I think on our anniversary or sometime ever later, you got the other ring, too. Because yeah. I didn't take it back. Yeah. And then, finally, the best story I have about your parents is, is um, I was having a home built for us, mm -hmm. and... Um, I invited you and your parents over to see it. You hadn't seen it. I told you that I was going to get us a place to live together instead of where we were living apart. Right. So I went and um, had this house and invited you guys over. Yeah. And your mom saw how I, the decorating ideas and how I was doing everything. And your mother <laughs> took you aside and said, are you sure he wants a woman? Because your decorating skills were so good, honey. Your mother thought I was... I think she was just joking, right? <laughs> so that's that was a compliment, moment. I think, to your decorating skills. All right. You got skills. Did I pass your questions for yeah. the end of the year? You get a high five. Did I do good? You did super good. That All was right. good on the spot question answering. All right. Wrap this up. It's going All on. right. So that's our video for today. I did good. Thanks so much for watching. Give him a thumbs up for that one. Make sure to give him a thumbs up for how she good he did. Do you remember when she pranked me How when she was pregnant, how I answered that one? Yeah. Cool hand, Luke. Give him a thumbs up for that one. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button for this fella. Don't forget to subscribe. Do you want to kiss me with your germs? No. You sicky? No. See, this is how we act when we have the flu. We actually have the full-on flu going on. Yeah. But we're alive. Love you. Bye. Bye.